Howdy again, this is Tubal Kane, and this is number six of my This and That series, which has proven to be semi-popular. <coughs> Pardon me. A uh, few updates in this uh, particular video. Uh, this is a t-shirt you've seen me wear, and uh, my grandkids brought me this from Dollywood, but it's a little bit outdated now, so I'm going to have to take a trip back to Dollywood or else uh, doctor this up a little bit because uh, it's now 2014 and I'm uh, well over 16 million views. And uh, thank you for, uh, uh, for watching. I got a little off track uh, in the last uh, this and that video and I turned it into somewhat of a what is it and I didn't mean to do that but, I, but it kind of happened but uh, this was one of the things that I said do you see anything different about these and just about everybody had that right I had a lot a lot of answers to that and of course their left hand helix or left hand drill and mill and it's most apparent when you have a right hand next to it. Also Several people told me this was a Bowley gauge, and they also said, is that an 1811 on there or a 1911? Well, I'm quite sure it's 1911, that's not 1811, but a Bowley gauge is used by dentists, and uh, you know, everything in the medical field is uh, metric and that figures, but this was used to measure teeth. So teeth. I looked it up on... Uh, uh, Wikipedia and, and I saw samples of it being used and you know we all know people that are equipped with bad false teeth and I'd like to find one of those quacks and send them a Bowley gauge where they put too large a horse teeth into a small person's mouth. I sometimes stop and ponder uh, what videos or what type of videos I should be making and what is the most popular. These are my 10 most popular videos over the past five years and uh, there's the number of views on them and granted that the ones near the top have been on the longest but notice that uh, some agricultural things here are uh, my top views for instance this number one I never will figure out why that's got uh, three quarters of a million views because that's uh, uh, a video that took me uh, three minutes to make and uh, it was extemporaneous and uh, yet it enjoyed so many views and then there's one on a solenoid engine that was popular and one on bean harvesting and that's before I kind of got into the machine shop stuff so those are the number of views near the end there as of November 2014 so I found that interesting and maybe you do too take a look at some of these videos if you haven't seen them and I got a, a email from a young fella in England who goes by the name of Mr. Crispin96 on uh, YouTube. He's only 18 years old. He works for Rolls-Royce as an apprentice and he's done some fantastic work in his home shop on steam engines and uh, machine work and you simply must look at what he's done. It's amazing for a uh, uh, 18 year old he's doing the work of a 65 year old so so check out Mr. Crispin 96 he doesn't have a whole lot of videos but uh, he's young and I'm sure he will this is a bit of a non sequitur but uh, I've had this uh, question on my mind ever since I was 12 years old and saw the Wizard of Oz and do you remember when the Scarecrow I think it was the Scarecrow found the Tin Man out in the woods that was Jack Haley he was all rusted up and he went around and oiled them. But as he pushed the uh, lever here with his thumb, this sound came out. The sound of this type of oil can. So that confused me as a child. And I'm still confused. In an upcoming video, I'm going to do several experiments with uh, these uh, rare earth super magnets. Neodymium is the name of them. And so be sure and watch that video when I come out with it. But here's a sample of what I'm going to be doing. This is a copper pipe here. It's, it's thick wall. And this tiny little magnet, less than a quarter inch in diameter, will uh, sl very slowly move down copper or aluminum. And I'm going to drop it in there in a second. So watch how long it takes for it to go through. And that's called uh, Lenz's Law. So watch this. It's a really interesting phenomenon. 
1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. It took almost four seconds for that to fall through as opposed to just being dropped. Do it again. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 and out it comes. And once more drop 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. So watch for that video. You might like that. Here's a couple of garage sale flea market items. You know, somebody said uh, <clears throat> in a comment, we aren't interested in your uh, flea market finds or garage sales. Do something else. So I, I got to slow down on this, I guess. But I guess, but this is a pan of ice. I don't like the way somebody painted this up to look like a horse's head or whatever it is. But this is a pan of ice, and uh, it's a universal type thing that you can tilt and twist and so on. And I bought that. Uh, strictly as possible uh, a camera mount uh, similar to this other one that I showed in another video and I have used this I put a little stud in here that'll fit the camera quarter 20 is what it is and uh, that's that's worked real nice but th this is another possibility it has magnetic jaws kind of cheaply made die cast I picked up another automatic center punch I think I had to give eight bucks for that it's the largest one I've ever seen, and it's still in the box. A brown and sharp number 770 automatic center punch. Kind of neat, very powerful. And uh, I already had a couple of brown and sharps. Uh, I had this one since I was in high school. Way too heavy to, to carry in your pocket, though. A bit of a fascination with those, I guess. That's enough flea market finds before I make that guy mad again, but a little follow-up. Uh, many of you really like this little tribute to my dad, and uh, were sentimental about it, as I was. But this Craig Stevens that uh, uh, made this book had told my brother many years ago that uh, above his workbench in the garage, he kept the picture of my dad as an inspiration. And there it is. That's uh, Craig working on his lathe. And uh, there's a picture of my dad. Apparently the same one out of a yearbook blown up. I thought that was pretty neat because even I don't have a picture of my dad above my workbench. But perhaps I shall do just that. Hope you enjoyed this little number six, this and that. Give me some comments. Kind ones, please. Kind ones. So long for now.